commutes and construction. Yeah, we know they don't always mix. Hardly ever, really. Some people are getting a traffic-filled start to the year. In Tolbert's traffic, today we hear about what's being done outside Stockton's Lincoln High School. Good morning, Conchetta. Well, Renee Gray is used to about a 10-minute drive when she takes her son to school. But a couple of weeks ago, on the very first day, it took her about 45 minutes just to get to the front parking lot. Now, the school district and Stockton City planners all have one common goal, and that's to make that area safe for students. It was a little overwhelming with the school later time also with the middle school. Road work underneath Alexandria Place, which runs in front of Lincoln High School, has closed part of that road in Stockton. In addition to the backups, Renee Gray noticed cars blocking driveways, running reds, and even making illegal U-turns during drop-off and pickup where kids are walking. Gray knew about the construction beforehand and had seen the school's warnings, but was still surprised to see how bad it was. Um, in the morning, we actually switched to bus transportation. <laughs> I'm, I'm appreciative of the parents for working with us. I know it's been a very frustrating situation, and I'm also appreciative of um, the city and the county for working with us to try to create solutions. Dextra says there are safety officers and campus supervisors out at drop off and pick up, and they've worked with the city to have RTD transport kids whose walking routes have been impacted. The project to replace the road and drainage started in May, just after the last day of school. In our case, we didn't have a choice. We just have to do it because it's an emergency infrastructure repair. Cochran asked that drivers follow speed limits, obey traffic laws, and put down their phones when driving. The project is set to be finished in early October. We know that there's going to be end to this, so we're just looking forward to that. <laughs> Well, there are more road construction projects happening all over Stockton. So could this also be affecting students and parents, Jordan? I mean, I can't wait. I can't believe that one mother is waiting 45 minutes. I know, and on the back end, too, another, you know, 40 minutes or so. So really all together, that whole or ordeal, about 20 minutes or so. But, you know, when you ask about other construction projects, yes. There's also a county project that's in Stockton on Pershing Avenue as well. And that's just actually blocks away from Lincoln. So the district county and city leaders meet weekly to talk about how best to address those traffic issues as they come up in Stockton. You know, and we really appreciate you highlighting all of this. You know, most people, we don't realize, you know, how badly their day is impacted by this. And earlier today, I think you said some people are waiting a few hours, you know, just in, in this traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, it's a really important thing. People, you know, waiting to commute to work, bringing their kids to work before, you know, they head in for their day. So it's a big, you know, it's a big deal. All right, Jordan, thank you. And and uh, to get in touch with you, they just Tolbert Traffic online. ABC 10 dot com slash traffic and you can figure out how to get in touch with me there. All right, perfect. Thank you. Your time now.